Hello and welcome to another Blender tutorial. For this video, I'm gonna add a roof to this project. Uh, but first, I wanna get rid of this extra section on the left. We don't need it for this video. I'll create a house layout on a different tutorial and I'll start from a floor plan. Um, now, I want to extend this room to the left so it looks more like a house, so that the roof will look better. Um, the first thing I need to do is select it. Then I press N so I can open the item tab and see the dimensions. I need to double the dimension along the X axis. I'll change that from three to six. And notice here that the door was also scale uh, by twice its size. Uh, so this is not the best way to do it because I want to keep the door the same size. So I'll do Control Z to undo that. Um, and now I need to go to the Create tab here on the on the right um, using the ArchMesh package. Um, I want to double the size of the wall. So we're interested in wall one and wall number three. I need to double their lengths. We go from three to six. And I do the same for wall number three. Change negative three to negative six. Okay. Now we can add um, a roof. And I'll do that by first adding a plane. So I hit the shortcut shift plus A. And select plane in this menu. Uh, now I need to see the house dimensions again. So again, I select it and go to the item tab. And here in the Z axis, that's how much I need to move the, the plane up. And then for the X and Y axis, I need to do half of them. So for X, I'll do three meters and then Y I'll do 1.5 in the negative direction. Uh, you'll see in a second. So I need to hit G, then Z to move it up, and I type in 2.4. Okay, now I hit G, then Y, and I type in, oh sorry, G and then X, and I type in 3. And lastly, G, Y, and negative 1.5. Okay. That's in the center. Now I need to scale it out so it covers the whole house. Um, so I hit S to scale, then X, and I extend it going past the walls. And I do the same thing for Y. I hit S, then Y, and extend it again going past the walls. Okay, now I need to switch to edit mode, and I do that by hitting tab. Then I go to my face select option up here on the left. And I need to select the uh, top face. Uh, and now I, I'm going to use this extrude region tool on the left. And um, I'm going to pay attention to the dimensions here. Um, the C axis will give me the amount of thickness of the roof. And I need about three quarters of a meter. So I have enough material to give it the shape it needs for a hip roof. Um, so I'll grab this plus sign here and move it up. And when the dimension, the Z dimensions get gets to about 0.75. Uh, actually, I'll do a little bit more 0.8. Uh, I stopped there, and now I need to use this bevel tool here on the left um, to give it that pyramid shape. And I go and grab this yellow dot and move it up again. And that looks good. So now here at the top, I need to combine all these vertices into one line. I'm going to switch to vertex select 
first I go to my select tool then I choose vertex, vertex selection and I need to select two at, at a time I select the first one and to select the second one at the same time I hold down shift now I press M for merge and uh, select the top option here merge at center and I do the same thing for the other two select the first one hold down shift select the second one press M and hit at center okay that looks like a roof it's a little bit flat so I'm gonna move this top edge up a little bit more so I need to go to edge selection select it then hit G then Z and move it up and we have a roof uh, thank you for watching this video